Hello everybody, and welcome back to my Minecraft survival let's play. So, in today's video, what I think that I want to do is... I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a to-do list thing. So what I want to do... To-do to list. There we go. So find bamboo. So that's the first thing I want to do. And... Get quartz. That's how, that's how you spell quartz, right? Um, so find bamboo and get quartz. Now, get quartz is definitely gonna be the hardest because quartz can only be found in the nether. I'm pretty sure it only can be at least. So that means that I'm gonna have to go to the nether, which isn't really. I mean, I wasn't planning on going to the nether, but. I want to get quartz because because I I came up with this design. So I I just I was in a super flat world and you know the bee farm it's nice and all except um except I I think it'd be really good if it was automatic because if if you just have an automatic bee farm and you just leave it running it produces a ton of honeycomb, so I'd be able to just wax all of this super fast because I don't have to do it manually. So that is definitely something that I want to do. And do I have enough materials for it though? I think I probably do. So, yeah. I think I do. So. I think finding bamboo is the very first thing that I want to do. It is pretty straightforward. I just go over to the jungle over in that direction. Or no, that direction. And go to the jungle and get bamboo. It's pretty simple. And that's for bamboo wood. Bamboo wood is a brand new 1.20 feature. So I, I, I think, and I think it's really cool. So I want to get that. And then quartz is for observers. So observers is a part of the, is a part of the farm. I searched up different automatic bee farm tutorials, and I mean, they use comparators, and I, and I have no idea how those things work, and I, I don't really intend to learn anytime soon so i just i came up with my own with a desert observer and it works very very well i'll i'll explain it um when i do get to building it but for now we have to find some resources i don't have to clear my inventory just yet because i'm just going to the jungle Now, well, still the jungle is a decent distance away. Uh, it's across this plains and you have to go through a forest. But still, it's pretty close. So I'm gonna do a cut for when I get to the jungle. Just so you don't, that you don't have to watch me walk a long distance. And there it is, right there. It's not it's not a bamboo jungle, but bamboo still spawns in normal jungles. So it's fine. Oh, and it looks like there's a lot of cows in this area. Okay. Also, I have been gathering up a bit of sugarcane. Oh, do I have a... I actually, I think I want to gather up these pumpkins. I think I do, because I don't want to, if I ever need pumpkins in the future, it's going to be very good. Because I, I've, I'll have already gathered it. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gathering up sugar cane wherever I can from my sugar cane farm. Hi, chew. Look, 
Well, excuse me. Well, I'm also going to take some melons. The same situation as the pumpkin. If I ever need melons, I got them. Oh, and here we are. Exactly what I was looking for. Bamboo. If you didn't know, you can easily cut down um, bamboo with a sword. Oh. I'm just going to take my bamboo and get out of here. 17 is definitely good enough. Because bamboo can grow really, really fast. Okay. So that is bamboo check off of the list. Now all we have to do is get back to the base and go to the nether. Which I, I think I'm prepared for. I mean, I have enough diamonds for a diamond pickaxe. And I also know where lava is, so I can gather obsidian from there. So yeah, it, it'll be it'll be pretty simple. It shouldn't take that long. Okay, the night is a very dangerous time. Very dangerous. There's so many skeletons right there. Okay. So I'm just gonna get back to the base as fast as I can. Fortunately, I was able to avoid mobs, but I, I did get hit by a skeleton a few times. Just a few times, so I didn't take too much damage. Okay. So basically, I'm, I'm gonna talk about my automatic bee farm. So I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna use the bee farm that I already have to get the bees and breed the bees. So that, so that I can just easily get, um, the bees into the automatic bee farm. And, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to sleep, and, and hopefully all the mobs will be gone by the time. Well, actually, I'm not going to go back up. I'm going to do stuff down here. Okay, well, that was a pretty successful uh, expedition for bamboo. We also got an additional 43 sugar cane, 18 melon slices, and 11 pumpkins. So that's pretty nice. Um, Now that I'm going to the nether, I'm going to get rid of bunch of stuff that I won't need. I need a water bucket. Oh, oh no. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is go down to the gigantic cave over here. With lots of lava in it. And... And get some obsidian from there. So I have to get to somewhere that I can jump down. Can I make that? I think I... Probably can, just gonna, I'm just gonna extend the platform a little bit farther. Oh yeah, I definitely could have made that. Oh no. Is this a, is this a glow squid farm? A natural glow squid farm? Because if glow squid are suffocating up there, the water just brings it down here and, and puts it into the lava. Oh, that's such a waste. It makes, that makes me upset. Okay, so basically, what I need to do... I'm just gonna break one block here. 
Aw, oh, you're kidding me. I forgot. I forgot the diamond pickaxe. Ah, uh, why, why, why am I so forgetful? Why? Well, we finally have a diamond pickaxe. Alright, I'm gonna do a 360 and it's gonna be awesome. Watch this. Yeah, boy. Okay. So I'm just gonna go over here. Actually, I saw some redstone over there, so after this, I might actually go get that redstone. Okay, so I'll place some water there in, in here and then keep the water there, so... None of the obsidian will burn from the lava because the lava around it will be turned into obsidian. So I'm gonna get... I know, I'll just... I'll get 18. Because that's 14 plus the enchantment table. And that is our last piece of obsidian. Okay, we've kind of made this area thing. Oh, actually, this is only one block deep. I'm kind of surprised by that. Okay, so before I leave, I'm going to get the redstone over there. Because I, I'm not sure if I have do have enough redstone for my auto bee farm, but just in case... Oh, I'm gonna get those glowing sacks. Just in case, I'm gonna get some more. That was pretty cool right there. Okay. I'll also get some gold, why not? Oh, it's a lot... It's a lot bigger of a vein than I thought it was. <clears throat> There we go. 17 gold. That is nice. Well, for a second, I thought that zombie was diamonds. Okay, so that is 55 more redstone dust. I'm gonna get this gold. Okay, that's only one. Okay, so I'm gonna try and make sure I don't get rid of any more lava in this area because I want to eventually make kind of a roller coaster in here. Because this is one of the coolest caves I've ever seen, literally. Look at these pillar things as you're dripping and all dripping from the ceiling and also going to the ground you you can't tell me that that isn't a cool this isn't a cool cave it goes up really really high and well it's it's at the bottom of the world pretty much and it goes up to I mean, it doesn't go up to the surface, but it goes up to pretty m almost surface level.
Oh no, I feel another sneeze coming on. I don't know why. I, 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 I have never been sneezing while I'm not recording. But whenever I do record, it just... Maybe I'm allergic to recording. Okay, is it turning tonight? Okay, so I'll... I'll actually put this in the furnace. Now I'll make some more... Blocks of copper. I, I got a bit more copper while I was going back up to here to make the pickaxe. Okay, has the wheat grown? About maybe a quarter of it has. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the nether now. The problem is... I have no idea where to put the portal. It's probably going to be somewhere temporary. I don't want to really put too much thought into this. Because, you know, it's just a portal. But I'll, I'll, I'll do it right here. It's, it's a pretty safe spot. Two. Three. One, two. There we go. So now we have flint and steel. I don't actually know where, I, why I have a flint and steel in my inventory. What, what have I been using the flint and steel for? I don't remember making the flint and steel. Now I don't know why I have it, but I just do. It's not like I've used it either. Okay, the Nether. We need the, to go deeper. I mean, well, really, though, you don't... Un unless you want to beat the game. Okay. So, I'm gonna go get what I have been after. Quartz. For once, I'm getting quartz for the quartz. And not for the levels. I don't need the levels. Okay. Oh, wow. That's just disrespectful. Why? Why, why me? Now I have to go block up that lava all the way up there. I don't actually know how much quartz I'm gonna need. I'm gonna break a bunch of netherrack so that I can get up there and clog up that lava stream. Hey, lava. Okay, oh, wow. I don't have any gold boots or anything. I'm actually a little bit surprised by this. I wasn't expecting... Oh yeah, I just... I didn't even realize how bad my spawn was. Okay. Okay. Oh, 
Oh. It's a little bit scary. And there, I'm just gonna stay down here in my ravine and leave all of you guys alone up there. Okay. Can you move your portal's location, though? Because if I can, I'll probably move it up to the surface up there. Okay, 44. That's probably enough, but I'm gonna get more anyways. There are 61 left. That's good. Okay, it's time to get out of this fiery wasteland. I actually just threw it in, in through the portal. Okay. So I would say that this is the to-do list. Completely complete. Yeah, completely complete. So, yeah, now I, I do have a little bit more time left. So what I think I'm going to do is, oh, I already have some obsidian here. What I think I want to do now is get some cows into the pen. Possibly some sheep as well. So, um, I haven't been killing any sheep or cows in the area, so there should be cows and sheep left. Yeah, right there. I'm also the sheep right there. I'm only I'm only looking for the cows right now, though. Come on, cows. Come on. Oh, I need to change my controls. There we go. Okay, there's a creeper right there. So we've got to be careful. And not wander off. Okay. Come on, team. Let's do this. Come on. There we go. Whoa, cow, what are you doing? So now... We have expanded the population by 50%. <laughs> okay. So it looks like there's a sheep over there, so I'll get that sheep, that, and that sheep. Oh, 
Are there any more sheep? No, that that's okay. Okay, it's turning to night time. Oh, I feel another sneeze. <coughs> Why? Excuse me. Alright, quit shoving. Okay, actually, I deserve to hit you, sheep. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna quickly go over to the bee farm. And yes, we've got lots more honeycomb. Now for the automatic bee farm, I'm gonna save the, up this honeycomb. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It has been pretty eventful. Has been, yeah, it's been pretty eventful. Uh, we got, we got another portal. We, we got some sheep and cows in the pen. And we also got bamboo. So that's pretty nice. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, sorry, I'm a little bit stuffy. And I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.